Good evening. I am in St. Clair, Schuylkill County, Pennsylvania. And I'm here for the tour of the churches, sponsored by the St. Clair Community and Historical Society. And when we talk about St. Clair, of course, we are talking about coal. The coal operations here in St. Clair were probably one of the largest in the world at that time. And they did have the largest railroad uh, round table at that time also. Coal was discovered in 1790. And it drew immigrants from all over England, Wales, and Ireland. And soon others came from Lithuania, Poland, and all parts of Europe. They came with their religious beliefs. St. Clair, like other coal towns in the area, established their churches. By the 1960s and the 70s, there were probably around 20 churches in the small borough. Tonight I'm going to uh, visit just a few of those that are still active here in St. Clair, Pennsylvania. Eastern Church and the Western Church, Western Catholic Church in Rome. In 1879, a Greek Catholic church was established in St. Clair. It was a partnership of Russian and Gallican members. Each spoke their own dialect and distinct chants in their liturgy. It worked for a while. In 1926, the St. Mary's Byzantine Catholic Church was formed. This church building was dedicated in 1932. And the other part of the sailors went around the back and stole the body. They actually stole the body and brought it back on a boat and brought it back into Bari, Bari, Italy. I'm thrilled and honored to explain to you, or to show you, I had the honor of visiting St. Nicholas' body over... In 1904, 46 Ukrainian families from St. Clair, Newcastle, and Cambola met to worship God according to the right traditions and customs of the Ukrainian Catholic Church. In 1906, this church was completed and the first service was held on Easter Sunday.
Joe. Abby right behind you. Okay. Part of the Anacock Te organized in Philadelphia in 1789 yeah, yeah. as the successor to the Church of England. The cornerstone of history was laid in 1854. St. Michael's, the Archangel Orthodox Church. In the 1890s, Slavic people, the Korpatho Rus, Czechoslovakia and Gallica regions of Europe immigrated to St. Clair. And then there, soon after that, at some point then, Many of the churches will leave to form their own parishes on their own. St. Mary's Russian Orthodox Church in 1900. St. Nicholas Greek Catholic in 1906. The Holy Trinity Ukrainian Catholic Church in 1922. And St. Mary's Greek Catholic, now the Byzantine Church in 1925. The remaining faithful of St. Michael's continued to maintain the faith of their forefathers. In 1924, this church building then was began, and it wasn't dedicated until 1932. Many immigrant laborers settled in and around St. Clair where they found work in many mines and collieries. On May 1st, 1864, a pastor was uh, appointed and offered the first mass in the parish of St. Mary, the Immaculate Mother of God. Yeah. And then in the uh, 1980s, many of the Catholic Church in the surrounding areas were being closed down for poor attendance. And then St. Clair of Assisi was formed here at St. Mary's Roman Catholic Church. St. Clair of Assisi.
first primitive Methodist church, Otis Church in St. Clair. Missionaries sent from England began primitive Methodism in America in 1829. Meetings were held in homes until in 1831 a schoolhouse was used. In 1847, a church building was erected. It's okay. You're people. You're, you're a church builder. Because of mine settlement, <laughs> well, you don't want to be in a, the present church Shekai. building was constructed Shekai. in 1868 <laughs> and dedicated in 1876. Here comes Splash. Splash saying a prayer. First primitive Methodist church. Early Presbyterian prayer service were held in the homes around St. Clair. In September of 1920, the congregation met in an old Welsh Baptist church for their services. A congregation was organized in May of 1921. And the church was struck the, and the officers, officers elected. In 1932, the church bought the land on which the present church building and the, and the building was constructed and dedicated in uh, 1933. Do you have a nice big tree in your house? Yeah. You know, we 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 call it pretty close to the top with the star. Yeah. As far as you know, we don't have. We always use one that has a little problem because we only see three quarters of the turn of the wall and that we always use one. We cut this tree and then we saw something that we didn't want to sell. Okay, so this one's not a The Methodist Baptist Church. Hello. It's the church with Hello. the red How door. Are you doing? Very good. Can I take your chance? The original wooden church was built in 1871, yeah. about a half a block from where the church stands today. It was called the St. Clair Baptist Church. All services were held in the Welsh language. In 1911, a new church was dedicated. Services were held in English. I approach a large baptismal pool located, located beneath the organ pipes. One would be uh, descended into the baptistry, taken into the depths of the water, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Dedicate the parents to raising children be in a um, Christian home. Yeah, sure. And they are and come baptized out of the water when they are of consent age. And they, begin they their they have to journey make the sure. with the Lord yeah. Jesus. Like 12 or 13, I guess, sir. Well, yeah, we've had people, you know, I didn't get baptized when I was 18. You have to feel that God is calling.
The original Methodist Church in St. Clair was established in 1848, known as the Methodist Episcopal Church. The present church was built in 1868. The name of the church was later changed to the First United Methodist Church. In August of 2000, the congregation of the Waysville Methodist Church was forced to abandon their church due to the coal mining operation. The members of the St. Clair Church were happy to welcome the Waysville congregation to join with them. And now known as the St. Clair Wade Methodist Church. So this is uh, St. Mary's Grotto. And uh, I'm going to end the tour of St. Clair right here, of the St. Clair churches. Just a friendly place to stop and sit down and reflect on the Lord and all the churches of St. Clair and what it meant to this community. Thank you for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed it. St. John's Lutheran Church. Inactive now. But it is now the St. Clair Community and Historical Society. Who sponsored this tour? Here is a St. John's United Church. We never did get to do the uh, tour of this one last night. You wonder, how do you get into that church? Oh, through those red doors there to the right. Still active. About 20 people, I was told by a friend who just lives by and I was talking to him. St. John's United Church. And this is the uh, St. Peter and Paul's Roman Catholic Church. began servicing the uh, Polish immigrants in 1906. And it is an inactive church now. But as you can see, the Kelsey Theater is there today, purchased by the Actors Guild of Schuylkill County. St. Peter and Paul. The uh, Holy Trinity and Ukrainian Catholic Church. 
founded by immigrants from Ukraine. This church was built in 1922 and uh, closed in 2008 and now is the home of the Community Mission, a charity organization. The Holy Orthodox Church began at the ancient Feast of Pentecost in the year 3380 D. She has kept the unchanging scripture and the holy tradition of the apostles to this very day. St. Mary's Orthodox Church then was officially founded in St. Clair in 1903 and dedicated first and second generation immigrants from the Carpathian Mountains and the former Austro-Hungarian Empire. And is an active church. And we uh, did not uh, take the tour of that church either. St. Boniface Roman Catholic Church formed in 1852 by German Catholics and was blessed by the Bishop St. Newman on October 30th, 1853. St. Newman is the only male saint from the United States. And now is a an apartment house. St. Casmer, a Lutheranian Catholic Church, formed in 1912. In 1952, Our Lady of Fatima Shrine was erected alongside the front entrance. The church and rectory were purchased by individuals that converted the rectory into a home and the church into a sports center. The Immaculate Conception Roman Catholic Church. First Mass was July 1902. It was opened as St. Mary's Slovak Church. In 1904, the name was changed to the Immaculate Conception. In 2021, it was converted into a business that warehouses and sells items taken from closed churches. The Immaculate Conception.